We are asking the question this week, how long, O Lord? It's a question that David himself asked in the book of Psalms. In fact, we looked yesterday at Psalms verses 1 and 2 of chapter 13, where he's asking how long. In fact, David could have been asking. See, God promised uh, in 2 Samuel 7, he said he was going to, even though he was a shepherd boy, turn him into a great king. And God also promised that he would bring relief from his enemies. So maybe David was saying, God, I'm using you at your word. Where are you? How long until I can feel the relief that I am enduring? And, you know, in the next verse of Psalm 13, verse 3, we see David crying out and praying and saying, just consider and answer me. And uh, David's appealing to God and just really crying out, wanting his answers. Well, at the, by the end of the psalm in verses 5 and 6, he is saying, I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. What a change. What a perspective change, right? Circumstances didn't change, but David's perspective did. You see, the knowledge of God's love does bring perspective to so many of our questions. And the knowledge of God's love changes everything because of three observations. One, God's love is greater than time. So when we see our, when we feel our time is wasted or it seems like things aren't going our way, we have to remember that God's not late and he can redeem. Psalm 103 says, but the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children. So whatever your perspective, the love of God is touching you. Two, the love of God is more powerful than your enemies and fears that plague us. We can find the massive hope in our ever present love of God. Psalm 118, verse 8, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Proverbs 29, 25, the fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. And third, the love of God is more certain than our sorrow. See, circumstances, like I said, they don't always change, but our perspective can always change. And today we have the even greater assurance of God's steadfast love when we think of how our Savior endured the pain of the cross. He then rose from the grave and now he sits at the uh, right hand of the Father and he is interceding, he's caring, and he is watching over us. Why? Because he loves us and we can cast our cares upon him. He cares for us. God will not fail you. And this Psalm is a personal statement of the character of God. And I hope you know the love of God today.